Okay, we're going to do a little experiment today on color demodulation. I've got a VCR hooked up with a pattern generator in there. I've got my this is an RCA CTC 12 and I'm hooked on to the two control grids of the Z demodulator tube on the uh, chassis and one of those I think I think pin 7 is the color or 1 I'm not sure well it's 1 and 7 one of them is the color feed uh, from the burst amp or from the uh, from the coma amp and one of them is the uh, 3.58 megahertz local oscillator uh, that's used to compare to the chroma signal. Right now I got a dual scope hooked up and the, the big sine wave you're seeing that's the fixed one that's the 3.58 megahertz it's not going anywhere. The other ones are a combination of waves I, pr I presume because right now I have this test pattern hooked up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to advance this to the uh, solid color and we'll take a look and see what happens when that happens. So I'm going to have to fast forward it here. Oops, that's not working. Let's try that again. Two, three, four. Now the first color that comes up is red. And since this is blue, I would hope I don't get a sine wave that matches up with this reference oscillator sine wave. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. This is just me playing around on a Sunday. Let's see what happens. I know it'll come up when I hear the, the music will start up, and I'll know I've switched to the red screen. Hopefully, you'll see a change on the scope too when that takes place. And we should be getting to the solid. You know, I'm going to stop and come back to this because I think I might I have to go through yet another screen before I get to the red. So I'll be right back. Okay, here's the uh, here's the red screen. You can see how the peaks are offset so that this dip here is working against that peak there on the grid of this tube. So that would tend to uh, cut the tube off if I understand what's happening. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to advance it to the next screen which is going to be a green screen and I'm not sure what that'll look like. Okay we've got the green screen come on so let's go take a look at what the uh, pattern looks like now. Oh, that's interesting. Not much in the way of change. I don't know how much displacement there is there. But again, you've got this peak working against that peak. So the blue is largely turned off, which actually that does make sense because if it's a solid green, you would want the blue completely turned off and the uh, green is actually derived from the lack of blue and the lack of red. So that kind of makes sense. So now we're going to move on to the next screen, which is going to be the... Um, the uh, blue screen. Right back. Okay, we moved on to a blue screen. And wow, there you go, bingo. Now the uh, the two uh, sine waves add up. So basically there's no more canceling effect. If you look at this point in time right here, that tube that tube is turned on. Oh, let's open it up a little bit. And that tube is going to conduct, which is the blue tube, which makes sense. So by varying the um, how these two line up, since they're both on the grid of one tube, they're both going positive. They'll turn that tube that tube on. They're adding together, so it should uh, it should cause the tube to conduct. Now, what I'd like to do, uh, I tell you what, I'm going to try shifting the tint and see if we can get a phase. Shift. Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate here is the two pin, it turns out to be it's pin, uh, I think it's pin 7. And there's no signal going to the to the uh, color demodulation right now. That's just the local oscillator running. And you can see how these are offset. They're not 180 degrees offset because if they were, these peaks would be right in the middle. And I think that's done on purpose. I don't fully understand how all that works. You know, there's a... 
That's why they call it X and Z, I guess, instead of red and blue. I, I'm not sure how that works. It's jumping around just because I don't have real good contact. But that's the whole idea. And if I adjust the tint, which I tried to do on the other video, but I lost it, you should see these sine waves move around some as I uh, maneuver the tint control. Let's see if I can get that to work. All right, I'm going to try to turn the tent here, and you should see a move side to side. Oh, maybe, maybe not. It did it when I had it on the other video. Maybe it needs to have, you know, it probably needs to have the reference oscillator working for that to work. Anyway, that's the two, uh, that's the two tubes getting to two different phases from the reference oscillator. Let me turn it on. Hey, let's try that tent. I'll see if I can demonstrate the tent thing. Uh, no, I won't because it's too hard to get to the the right color. Anyway, there you go. Thank you very much.